Hi guys, this is Bupinder. Welcome to my channel, Bupinder Tube. You can find me on social media if you want, on Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Uh, today I want to show you how to get rid of this lagging when you when you're editing your video, and sometimes it really gets annoying. I mean, now if you can see, I'm playing this. It's not too bad. It's still lagging, but not too bad. But then. It goes here it gets really bad really really bad so what you got to do to get rid of this lagging you can't understand your your effect the, the changes that you made on your video properly whether you're satisfied or not before you publishing that video as you can see to understand how bad the lagging could be you have to pay attention to these lines yellow means really not too bad and red means really bad and and green means all right so we want to get everywhere to become green so in order to make it green everywhere there is one trick that I'm gonna show you so depends where you're concentrating on you click on that timeline and then on your keyboard you click I once you click I this becomes like gray whitish gray appearing and it will go up to the end of the whole video that means it gonna render the whole thing but we want just now a portion of it to render I mean it depends on you if you want the whole thing to be rendered you can go ahead and do that but now you click that eye and then you click in the next part of the video that you want to render to and then you click the key O. once you do that that's I stands for in and O stands for out so you select this region uh, to another way of doing this is to click right click on the timeline and then click on mark in and then click on the other part of the video and click mark out so you can do in that way also and then once it's there you can pull it and drag to wherever you want once you have done that uh the next step and the final step would be to go to the sequence click on sequence and then click on render in to out there are different uh, things you can select render selection render effects in and out so in this scenario we just click on render in and out so the render in the selection would be you select the clip and then you click render selection and it would do the that selection render that selection rather than setting any in and out so let's do a render in and out once you click this render in and out the rendering process starts number of files whatever if you want to see more details click on here and it will show you the details how much time left how much time passed there are two videos two clips one and two one is yellow one is red and it will start rendering it So right now, and you can see this whole region became red, a uh, green, from red and yellow. And now the video goes much more smoother. I have uh, increased this video. You can watch my another video in the same playlist. Uh, I enjoy really doing this. So, and in order to get rid of this gray area, just right click on it and clear in and out that's it <clears throat> so if you select a video i hope you guys enjoyed watching my video if you want to watch this video of how i remove a strum from my garden uh you have to go to my another, another channel called Bupinder mechanical and uh, you can watch that video as well if you want uh, i'm in the process of editing that 
so it will be completed pretty soon most probably today itself okay guys thanks for watching i will see you hopefully next time bye